So we'll pair the strongest, right? Think on that. So it says, remember, anything that you fear and dwell upon will manifest in your life, whether it is poverty, ill health, criticism, or love. There's nothing more important than learning the art of keeping your mind focused upon things, conditions, and circumstances in life that you really want. Here are 10 essential elements that will fuel your motivation. Number one, develop the right mental attitude. Number two, aspire to something greater than yourself. Develop a magnificent obsession. So if we don't have that, we should find that, you know? That keeps us in check. Right. Keeps us focused on positive things, except all the issues in life that's bothering us. Possess a futuristic outlook. Take the long range view and release the past. We need an amen for that, because we know we got difficulties doing that. Amen. Just released it, it's gone. It doesn't mean you're not gonna heal or go through the struggle, but you have to learn to release it or you're not gonna go forward. Number four, this is very important, develop deep personal integrity. Be someone you can admire, right? Yep. I was talking to my girlfriend the other day and she was saying, when she looks in the mirror, she's not happy. She's, she doesn't like the person who she is. And I said, one thing about that is that you have the power to change that, right? Yeah. So sometimes we're downtrodden for varying reasons and we really don't like who we are in the moment. Remember that we can, we have everything within us to be whoever and whatever we want. Mm -hmm. So that will keep you motivated. Number five, accept total personal responsibility. Remain in complete control all of the time. Do not be manipulated by people and events operate on your personal timetable. So, for those of us who look at other people and judge their success by what our success is, stop it, you know? Don't compare yourself to the Joneses. You don't know what they're doing to look how they look. Or, you know, all of that stuff. And everybody gets to a point of self-actualization in their time. It doesn't mean money. It doesn't mean job, it doesn't mean spouses, kids. It's that personal passion that you've tapped into where you know this is where I really wanna be, this is where I'm truly living. Number six, edify and affirm others. Please edify and affirm others. Remember, we said this earlier, Dr. B, nothing is greater than love. And I, I, I don't remember who I was talking to last night and we were talking about what's love got to do with it and what that meant. Yeah, it was a Ronde. And I was like, you know, love is a given, you know? If you have a family member or a spouse, it's kind of a given that you love that person. So sometimes we feel like we don't have to express our love, but we really need to, because it really keeps people stronger. Number seven, be grateful and not critical. Develop a gratitude attitude. Is anybody Grateful that they're here in this moment, right now in this country? Absolutely. Okay, good job then. Number eight, select your friends with care. Minimize dependency on others. If you dominate your associates, there is no way for you to expand and grow. So you always want to affiliate yourself with someone who you can learn from. Someone who you aspire to be more like of. If everyone that you're interacting with or I don't want to say beneath you because I don't think anyone is beneath anyone but you know what I'm saying yeah if there if there's if there are no teaching tools or teaching moments you have to find persons who can help you to change grow and develop number nine we spoke about that there is no time like the present do it now all right so a lot of you whose tomorrows were I'm going to Ghana in 2009 didn't happen it doesn't matter you're here now right so you did it be gentle on yourself now. Decide what habits or changes you wish to alter in your life. Make those changes and never let an exception occur. That's a toughie, but if we aspire to do it, you know, we might master it. And the final one, and I want to talk a little bit about this, and I'm probably going to ask um, Sister Sass to come after, because this is a conversation that we had a few years ago about the importance of mentors. Right, and we know that mentors doesn't necessarily mean the person is older than you. It's anyone who you can learn and grow from, someone who inspires you, who keeps you going, who have conversation with you that make you feel good when you walk away, who keep you grounded, who keep you on the right track and path. 
So make sure you find those mentors. Mentors who are larger than life expand us. Mentors in different fields broaden us and deceased members inspire us. We gotta say that again, cause you know, pretty soon we'll be walking and Anson Mansu will be going through the dungeon. And if you think that this is just words, we're gonna see a lot of transformation and emotional outbursts and reactions from people. And this is what this means. Mm -hmm. Deceased mentors inspire us. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Okay, Ashe, all right, we ready? Are you ready? 